And welcome back. The Legion of Idaho is killing it, and we are diving into the Crimson Crusade Part 2. Let's uh, just go. Like, we're all repaired. We have an atlas with us now. It's May 9th, 3024. May 16th, though, it says, Mysterious bird-like battle mech is at the Raven. Sightings near Liao-Davian border. All right, well... Yeah, I'm I'm digging where we're at here. Let's uh just jump in. We might not stick in this region. Maybe we'll jump around and go into Steiner or something. I don't know. I'm just having fun. Once again, this whole playthrough is just to like have a blast and then eventually um waiting for the release of Solaris 7 so that we can uh go get it on. So we're building everything from scratch and just kind of, you know, replaying it all and seeing where we go so by the way yeah eventually it'd be nice to pick up our little treasure hunt we have now too but uh contracts crimson crusade part two campaign 60 tonnage limit 270 i think we can handle that um again where are we like i'm gonna go salvage 1.1 mil i think we'll be okay so we have, truthfully, just throw our little guy on here, huh? Who do we got? Who's our better? Lieutenant Coles. Do we throw you in a hunchback? And go 295? I think we do. I think we, we respect our the game here. <laughs> and be over tonnage, not under tonnage. Um, let's, let's do it. What is in store for us? Oh, it's a demolition, right? So let's let's just pound through it. I'll try to stay demolition focused to start with at least. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. The I Crimson Inclination seem to have taken refuge in this area. House Carita wants us to eliminate them before they have a chance to regroup and rebuild into something that can threaten civilian populations again. Alright, I'm just gonna... I'll ask there, let everybody else stick with us. I think Luis have the Hunchback coming up, and... The Atlas is going to have to be behind a little bit. Ground armor spotted. Finally, target spotted. Target destroyed. Tango down. Mm hmm. What do I got right in front of me? Oh, hey, what's up? Start launching uh, rounds in. Just devastating it. Oh, you guys take out that little locust. We'll do a little round here, I think. Oh my god! <laughs> Everything hit me all at once. It's so fun. Shifting to your target, Commander. Too pure. Enemy mech presence detected. They must be Curitan forces. They found us. Get rid of that LRM carrier. That's what was doing it, huh? Oh, something. Something ain't feeling right for him. You guys, come, come get my boy here. I'm gonna rotate through. Let's not have ground armor messing with us. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. 
my gird. There we go. Where are we at? 81? We need to demolish the space. Or something. Structure failure lost something. Enemy mech destroyed. Logging acquired. Please, you must understand. Lord Francis is only trying to liberate us from the Curitan Warlords. That may be true. Tune the mask, Commander. We have a job to do. This yep. is at seventy-five percent capacity. Are these explosive tanks on top of this building? I think they are. I think that's what messed me up a mission or so ago. Can I just pound through this? I think I can. Yep. Now we can't see anything. Oh my god, there's more coming. There's more coming. You guys. Send them out. Oh, Hunchback. Why are you getting all beat up? Bastard. There we go. No. Oh no, another one. Yeah, we need to get out of here. They're bringing it. They're bringing it. I knew this would be chaos. Come on, Shen Zeng. Enemy destroyed. Let's see if I can just bust through some of this wall here. Yeah, I know it. I know it. We're nearly finished in a lot of ways. You know what? Get that VTOL that's up there just hitting us. Thirteen percent. Okay. I'm waiting to see if like those are hurting me. I don't think they are. That yeah, demolitions can just be brutal. You don't get the SRM carrier. Target is done. Well done. There we go. This should do it. It's done. The Crimson Inclination presence has been eradicated from the area. I doubt they even through. pose much of a threat Let's at go. all to an entire Curitan regiment. However, Franson doesn't appear to have been here either. Ah, good. Let's get you back to the ship and report your encounter to our army. Go for an assassination. Enemy mech town. Just took them all down real quick. Like they were doing all the softening them up. Alright, how's everybody doing there? Everybody's messed up. Target destroyed. What's a pit? Now we now we drink cocoa on our way back. Come on. Target is down. Oh oh oh. Being torn apart. Damage critical. Oh come on, Shenzhen, and your warhammer. 
need to get out of here. We've got your target, Commander. Scrap that one. Spider. Yeah, we're just getting the hell out of here. Well, we only took superficial armor damage, so... We played the objective. You guys kept it. Cheers to our lance. Maybe an injury, but nobody dead. Let's see. Okay, so 15. Ooh. We were able to pick up. Although some of the equipment's starting to get a little bit nicer. That's okay. We'll, we'll take the money. Healthy, healthy, healthy. Uh, oh, we lost a Goss rifle, I think. Maybe, maybe not. Let's we'll see. So, Crimson Crusade Part Three. The ISF thanks you for your diligence on flushing out this Crimson Inclination vermin. Our desk cleanup teams have investigated the safe house you destroyed and, and have uncovered a number of documents at the scene. It will take time to piece together a full picture of the Crimson Inclination's greater network, but early examinations indicate that Franson and a number of his top lieutenants were not present during the attack. We believe that he and his top staff were off-world attempting to contact an unknown sponsor in an effort to resupply their forces. Naturally, we cannot allow for this to happen. Although it will take time to unravel the Inclination's greater network, we believe we have located Lord Franson himself in the Ardaz system. Our sources cite that he pilots a heavily modified dragon, Battle Mech. We want you to travel to Ardaz and put an end to his ambitions once and for all. Hell yeah. Let's see, though. Um, cold storage. Which way are they trying to send us? To Ardaz here? It's going to cost us a lot of money to repair, though. I feel like we need to... Let's pop out. And then pop in. And then pop out. I mean, we could have used a dragon earlier in the game, but now I think it's almost just a, a sellable mech. Well, what do we have here? Black Knight, 8 million, Charger, Cyclops, Grasshopper, Thunderbolt. I mean, nothing wrong with it. Although something else jumped out at me just a second ago. Oh, what is up with the rare AC5? You know how much I love my AC5, right? I think we're taking it. For 700, grabbing it. Um, you, sir. This is probably the best upgrade I've had in the game yet. Any medium laser three? Sure. I don't use it as much, but... We don't have an ER PPC. Okay, okay. Let's, um... Repair all. And... Yeah, we're still we're stuffed with double heat sinks. We don't have any room. Let's go to loadout. You suck, Warhammer. I mean, maybe it's me sucking for putting them in the bad situations, but do we have better machine guns right now? No. SRM six. Everything looks pretty good to me. Now you, sir. He kept the Gauss rifle and the ammo. We lost some double heat sinks. So we lost just a little bit of cooling. 47 of 48. What what else did we lose here? There. Now we want up cooling. Whatever. Do we have a better SRM6? We do not yet. And you, Doctor. We had the large laser. Do we have a better AC-10? We have the AC-10 burst fire, but I don't want to go there. 
Not that it's a bad thing, I just don't want to. Do we have any better large lasers? I do. I'm gonna put a large laser. Yeah, I think we are good to go. Any LRM5? Why not put the best stuff on the mechs we're using now? And we're heading in. Although, anything else out here? Not that I want to spend too much time on. I guess... One, two, three... We have six, so we need to just, just roll with it. Mm -hmm. for pre -drop checklist. Affirmative, Commander. I'll Affirmative. Be in the Me just clicking all the wrong buttons. There we go. Let's go. I'm not sure what we're going to get into after this one, but we'll just put one foot in front of the other. August 26th. 3024. So June 16th says alternative mech melee weapons begin to show up. Yeah. Interesting. So we're going to see some hatchet men and stuff running around. I like starting at the beginning and not like of this game and just letting everything kind of develop. I, it's really great. I love it. Um, anything else interesting? No. Contracts. So level 70. Uh, is an assassination, I would think. Now's our chance to land a significant strike against the Crimson Inclination by taking out France and himself. Be careful, though. They appear to be running dangerously low on supplies and could be getting desperate. Salvage. Even though I want more money, more money. Oh, we didn't... I think we have some cold mechs. Cold uh, storage mechs to sell to. Let's see. 295... Do we have? What else do we have going on? We could go with the Shadow Hawk. I don't think we want to. I think this is where we're at right now. 295 at 315. That's fine. Knowing we have room for a, another larger mech, so. I love that hunchback with the Gauss rifle, though. Attention. Come on. Prepare for battle mech departure. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems phenomenal. Let's go assassinate. On our way here, we were able to track down active movement on the surface of this planet. Looks like they didn't think this one through very well. Anyhow, I've marked the location of what I believe is the staging area of the... Oh, hold on. I'm getting a transmission from Franson. Patching it through now. To the unidentified mech unit approaching My AC5 is just gonna like shred I holes. am I Lord Franson. Turn back now. You have no right to be entering this airspace. Somebody flying above us. My followers will not allow you to disrupt oh, our is it our dropships? You have been warned. Seems they know we're coming. We'll proceed as plans, Commander. But be careful down there. As they say, Nothing is as dangerous as a wounded beast backed into a corner. High Lord Franson. For someone looking to tear down the social order, he certainly thinks highly of himself. Though I suppose you'd have a big ego too if you had a custom dragon to call you on. Our intel from the governing body tells us he's acquired one through his army of followers. Looks like we're at the wrong place, Commander. Our target that is okay. Let's check out the other locations. Oh, there you are. Yeah. Oh, I was gonna get it. I was gonna get you. We'll hit this and wrap. Mercenary scum. Mercenary scum. Of the of the great 
Oh shit, catapult. Let's go. I would love that catapult. I'll... We're not going to pick him off, I'm sure, but... Come on, guys. Everybody, destroy that catapult. Damn it. Oh, there he is. Oh my god, I'm getting messed up too. You know what? Take this guy. Yeah, I don't know. The um, has been cut off, and yeah. His remaining followers should quickly disperse. Our hunchback's about to Great get work, toasted. Commander. You should be good to return to the dropship. I'm doing it. will be pleased to learn that Franzen has been taken off the board. Being torn apart! Damage critical! I hear you guys. That's why I'm trying to get you out of here. Tricky, tricky, tricky. The catapult and then everything else on top of us. So we, what, just a commander? I like the medium laser ones. Because they'll always get kicked off and... Perfect. Oh, I skipped one, that's okay though. Oh man. Hunchback. Oh, cost us some stuff, guys. So part four, the ISF has confirmed that Lord Franson is dead. We have you to thank for this. Unfortunately, his mech was never recovered. Supporters loyal to his cause took his mech and fled the system, and we believe we know why. Oh no, we have another one. Further examination of the documents recovered on Manadorf have unveiled that High Lord Franson had made contact with House Steiner Loki agents and entered a deal with them. Loki... Uh, pardon me, appears to be financially propping up the Crimson Inclination in order to wage a proxy war with the regional warlords. We believe that without High Lord Franson, Crimson Inclination's deal with Loki falls apart. Our analysts believe that the Crimson Inclination's remaining leadership still intends to make contact with House Steiner Loki agents in an attempt to resupply their depleted forces, with one of their surviving members posing as Franson himself. This operation has grown bigger than the Crimson Inclination. It is now of the utmost importance to not only crush the Crimson Inclination, but unveil and capture these Loki agents. Well, of course. Okay, well, but we need to get somewhere and repair. That's up here. Um, yeah, we're going to pop. Let's go. I think we lost the Goss right there. We could really use another really nice mech.
I wouldn't call it a hero blackjack. With all machine guns, yeah. Nah, we good. But what do we have for cold storage? Let's sell them. Although, I mean, we could save them to sell better, but I think Affirmative, Commander. we'll take it I'll right be now. In the hangar for pre -drop checklists. Indeed, indeed. Um, let's get our battle mechs healed up here. Seven hundred and forty six thousand plus a PPC. We have a PPC. I'm going to buy one though if they have it available. And do I have a better medium laser yet? No. Still just the ones. Okay. Oh yeah, I got this guy just got totaled. We do not have a Gauss rifle for you, do we? Oh my god. I'll take it. Thank you. Um, yeah. And let's make sure they don't have another one sitting around. They have Gauss ammo. I'm not seeing it. How would they have a Gauss rifle and no Gauss ammo? That's okay. All right. Let's get her done. We still have. These other mechs down here, our Javelin and Shadowhawks aren't really uh, carrying any weight anymore. Let's just go do it. Then move on out of this hellhole. Sixty campaign. T oh no, tonnage limit fifty. Hmm. This is. I I know this mission because I played the game before. I think isn't this the one we kind of got to lure him out? Um. Let's see here. We don't have any jump jets, and I think we want jump jets on this guy. So what I'm gonna do for three million. We're gonna pop back out. We're gonna see. I want to put jump jets on this dude. At least some, and then yeah. And I mean, yes, obviously I've. Some of these I remember, some I don't remember at all. And this is one that I do remember, so we're going to try to see if we can do this properly. Actually, it's a great reason that we've had the javelin the entire time. Um, let's get to you. Let's see what's what. Oh. No, uh, revert. So jump jets, and what he just has SRMs. I don't know that we have anything else. Should we just go with less SRM ammo? It's possible, or do we just strip max? We lost a little bit of armor. I say we give it a shot. Let's um let's keep his ammo where it's at for now. Okay, good luck to us. That's so crazy. Out of nowhere, just like, oh, limit 50.
I wonder if we'll have to try this more than once. I just don't know. What do we have for transmissions now? Oh! Those uh, in need, okay. Oh, I see. It's um, a hatchet thing. You may call us the independent people of Sky. We represent a number of units under the employ of House Steiner, currently assigned to the front line against House Kirita. In 3023, House Steiner shocked the entire inner sphere with the creation of the first new mech design in generations, the Hatchet Man. The Archon said that the new mech would help bolster our country's mech regiments with a new line mech, but in reality, the mech has mostly been distributed to forces loyal to the Archon and those warmongering pigs and federated sons. Doing nothing for those of us in the Isle of Sky as our home defenses are slowly whittled down every day by raiders in the Draconis Combine. We've learned that the Archon and Defiance Industries have delivered an entire company of new Hatchetmen mechs to the 19th Arcturan Guard, a formerly prestigious unit before they incurred major losses at the hands of House Curita decades ago. While this may sound like a legitimate reason to re-outfit, to refit the unit with new mechs, I assure you it is not. In the decades since the collapse, the 19th have become a dumping ground for the spoiled sons and daughters of the Commonwealth's wealthiest families entering the LCAF. Riding high on the coattails of the 19th storied past to further elevate their own social status while turning the unit itself into their own state-sponsored frat house. As the new first first brand new mech designed in over a century, the Hatchet Man has become a hot commodity that the Archon is willing to throw these petulant brats in order to appease their wealthy industrialist parents rather than supporting those of us on the front lines who are in desperate need of new equipment to fight our actual enemies. I wish we had a better way of doing this, but we are left with no more options. We want your unit to disable as many of these Hatchet Men as possible so that we may take possession of them. We cannot overtly move against our own countrymen, but we are in desperate need of those mechs to defend ourselves from the Kiritan aggression. So we're seeking your aid in capturing and acquiring these hatchetmen and putting them in the hands of the people that truly need them. Will you help us? We may. We may not. I don't know yet, to tell you the truth. Alright, so... Let's go with this one. Um... I don't... We're not gonna... We're just going to pay out. Right? Heavy weather warning is in effect, Commander. Your visibility will be compromised out there. Oh. Let's, uh, change mech. Or remove mech, my bad. Remove everybody. Change mech. Put in our little guy. Well, I'm glad that we left him there and we didn't have to go, like, buy a whole nother, um, mech. I think we have something that's reasonable for this. I think so. And 30 of 50, let's go. Again, it seems like every other mission I have to like save it, reload it, it won't let me launch from there, so whatever. It hasn't crashed or anything. Incoming message from our contact in the 6th RCAP Legion. Commander, Brigadier General Razowski here. I wish we were meeting under better circumstances, but time is of the essence. I'll be brief. The few remaining Crimson Inclination members are attempting to meet with House Steiner operatives about a possible arms deal. Naturally, this is a problem for House Curita, but the brass feel a show of force would only tip off the Inclination's foreign handlers. Yeah. This, we hope, is where you come in. We want you to run an interception role for our small strike force, drawing the Inclination's mech into an ambush at a nearby ravine. The buggy terrain should make mobility difficult for them, trapping them, and allowing my forces to move in and put an end to this once and for all. I've already supplied your CO with the location. I know we're asking a lot from you, but rest assured, you will be handsomely compensated. Razuski out. So where the bait? There's a smart way to go about this, Commander. Stealth is key to success. I have readings for a number of detection installations around that you should disable before they alert the inclination to your presence. Rosersky was right about the terrain slowing mechs down. Use jump jets to dislodge from the swamp. It should make navigating through it easier. You're approaching a conversation now, Commander. Oh Take no. It down. No thank you. So many tanks we've already taken out, I guess. Okay. Into position at remaining calm bases. 
I'm just trying to haul ass We've through here. We've detected outgoing radio chatter from that location, Commander. It looks like you didn't get that antenna in time. Did I not? Really? It's weird. It's crazy. It's just crazy. So. Target acquired. Target destroyed. My god. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. This sucks. This mission sucks. A comm station is in the area, Commander. Keep an eye out for it and level it. Yeah, I'm dead, man. I don't have the, the firepower to stand here and, like, kill everything, right? I gotta run, 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 run. Am I wrong? I'm sad about this. Like, if I keep dying, oh my god. If I keep dying over and over, we'll do a bunch of editing. Yeah, I'm toast. I'm stuck on a rock. It's like the dumbest mission. I love this game, this is the dumbest mission. Look at me. I'm toast. I have one leg. Didn't even make it halfway through this mission. I can't even hit him. I'm sure there's an ideal uh, mech for this. Nearby, Commander. Once you find it, destroy it. Okay. <clears throat> I will meet you right around here when I've hopefully done it better. So we'll see. Okay, it's all about getting these comm stations. I have to do it fast. I'm still getting hurt from my front, but I don't have things like chasing me. Uh. So if we don't make it past, if we die somewhere between here, we'll catch up. We'll just keep re-editing. Yep, I gotta get it. I gotta get it. If I can get to it. Come on. Got it. That comm station is history. Oh my god, can't afford to do that. God damn it. Damn it. It's crazy. This is okay, insane. Commander. We've detected energy signatures for five okay. bottlenecks within the city. Use your agility to find and target all five. Once you've targeted them, lead them to the ambush point and join in the fun. It'll be like shooting fish in a barrel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if I believe that. So there's one.
One. Target acquired. Two. Bastards. Where's the fifth one? New target, Locus. Target acquired. Target acquired. Jump jet fuel low. God, guys. I still know where the fifth one is. How do we do this? I need better sensors or something. My back is getting toasted. I think I just need to head for it now. Target acquired. Jump jet fuel low. Target acquired. Jump jet fuel. Empty. Where's the fifth? Where's the other one? Pissing me off, guys. There. That's it. Jesus Christ. Run. I'm toast. I'm toast. Can't do this. Get behind rocks. Driving me crazy. Okay, we'll meet you right back here, hopefully. Geez, how many times is it going to take me to do this? Is it worth it? That's all of them, Commander. Now draw them into the canyon. Jump jet fuel empty. Motherfucker. Ammo is still Okay, I think we're we're making it in here, but can I survive? I don't no no god damn it. Dispatch recovery teams immediately. Commander, do you read me? Okay, you know what? We um are not going to continue this. I'm going to do some editing. We're just gonna call it good on this for now. I guess, um, yeah, screw it. We lost, we lost, that's that's the truth. We can come back and do this later, can't we? Incoming message from our contact in the 6th Arkad Legion. Commander, Brigadier General Razuski here. I wish we were meeting under better circumstances, but time is of the essence. I'll be brief. The few remaining Crimson Inclination members are attempting to meet with Hausteiner operatives about the possible arms deal. Naturally, this is a problem for House Curita, but the Brass feel a show of force would only tip off the Inclination's foreign handlers. This, we hope, is where you come in. 
We want you to run an interception roll for our small strike force. Drawing the inclinations mech into an ambush at a nearby ravine. The buggy terrain should make mobility difficult for them. Trapping them and allowing my forces to move in and put an end to this once and for all. I've already supplied your CO with the location. I know we're asking a lot from you, but rest assured, you will be handsomely compensated. Razorski out. So where the bait? There's a smart way to go about this, Commander. Stealth is key to success. I have readings for a number of detection installations around that you should disable before they alert the inclination to your presence. Razorski was right about the terrain slowing mechs down. Use jump jets to dislodge from the swamp. It should make navigating through it easier. Target. You're approaching a comm station now, Commander. Take it down. Nice work. Antenna down. Target destroyed. to find and target all five. Once you've targeted them, lead them to the ambush point and join in the fun. It'll be like shooting fish in a barrel. Jump jet 
Okay. God damn it, guys. Let's see. Let's see. Can we do it? Can we do it? Can almost make it up. My god. I'm gonna die here, aren't I? I'm so frustrated with this. I went back and I um, added upgrades for the jump jets and added upgrades for internal structure. Oh my god, I made it. I made it. Okay. So I have nothing to do but hide right now. I'm hiding. I was ready to quit, but then I'm like, I can't quit and come back to this. That'd be too annoying. That'd be even more annoying. I'm just gonna hang out back here. Hopefully face them. Oh, we'll hang out with the artillery. Yeah, what's up, artillery? What a what a mission. It's insane. And then sometimes all five mechs are like right there. And sometimes it, they're not. It's so only two of the five are gone? Come on. Where are these mechs at? Is that one of them over there shooting? Come on. Am I still trying to lure them in? Don't do this to me. Don't glitch out. <laughs> they're, they're shooting something. Kill that bastard. Oh, look at that Marauder, though. That's what I want. Where is he? Where's the fifth one? Oh, over there. There he goes. I'm 
insanity. Come on, you guys. Do I get revenge? That ought to be the very last of the criminal. I don't think I had any of them hit. All forces withdraw from the area. The ISF wants to prepare a surprise for the lighting context that the Crimson Inclination was attempting to meet. We owe you our thanks again, mercenary. I will not forget it. Coming in for extraction. It'll be interesting to see how our new friend repairs us. Yeah, yeah. Well, we did it. We made it through, and now we don't have to do it again. I knew there was a reason I didn't want to do this series of missions. <laughs> Craziness. But I'm glad we kept the javelin on us, at least. All right, three million, absolutely. Um, yeah, three of three. What do we have that we could even pick up that we want? You know, a medium laser. Level up, of course we were. And we have a dragon, so that's not the worst thing. To the mercenary commander, thank you for all your help in dealing with the Crimson Inclination. Their little rebellion has been wiped off the map. Brigadier General Ruzerski, Recommended that we reward you with Franzen's mech, and we agree that would it would be a suitable bonus for your excellent performance. The whole system thanks you, Commander. We are eternally grateful, and your contributions will not be forgiven, forgotten, forgiven, both. And we made it to veteran. And Poncho's all excited. What do we have here? Ooh, Will of Kali, hazing of the week. I do like this. Greetings, Commander. I am the Will of Kali, liaison and loyal servant to the Church of Kali. You haven't heard of us, that is by design. Our church and its goals are only to be known for the most loyal members, for now. Unfortunately, however, we have a problem that has to be dealt with quickly and quietly. We made the difficult decision to contact a mercenary and with your outstanding reputation to deal with delicate matters, we hope we can trust you this to you. One of our disciples seems to have jumped the gun on our plans. She has left the flock and decided to begin sacrificing settlers and the send dollar system. We cannot provide her name as we do not know it. All disciples must leave their past lives, life at the door, and that includes their name. The only identity that matters is that of the true ruler. We will not tolerate this heresy, Commander. Her insubordination to our true ruler must be dealt with, and we are fully confident that you know how to end this. Travel to the settlement and make her feel our wrath. We have to be ready for this one, um, but I think we can be. We have some money, we don't have enough, we need to repair up. What was up with this dragon though? Let's just uh, look at it. SRMs, medium lasers, AC-20 burst fire, 60. You know what, we're gonna keep this dragon for now. I say we, um, let's get to the star map here. Now that's way south of us again, of course. Um, are we friendlier now with uh, with House Kirita a little bit after doing that. We just need to get reset here. Now, as much as Willakali is not a bad one because we could get a lot of money from them and because uh, we have our highest reputation. But, let's see here. First, you just, just repair it. That's fine. <laughs> you were going to go to your loadout real quick. Let's see what we could... We repair all AMS, anti-missile system. You know what? I feel like it's just weight. Oh, right? Um, I'm going to get rid of you and get rid of you. And SRM AC-20. You know how we roll. AC-20, AC-20, SRM ammo. SRM ammo. Not worried about the mask. We're taking all of the weight off that we can. I could probably use some more ammo, but I think we're just going to roll with it for now. Do we have a better SRM-6? They have one for sale. Nothing better than what we're dealing with. Let's um go to max armor. Okay. So we don't have that. Let's go into some... AC-20 burst fire is what we're still playing with, huh? Hmm. Do we want the burst fire and the AC-20? 
are the same weight. It's just how much we're using. I really don't like to waste the ammo. I'd rather go with an AC-20. I know burst fire's crazy. I get it. But, you know. Um, we could use some more ammo, though. And put it in the torso. I'm, I'm going to put some in the torso here. AC-20. And... AC-20. How about some SRM? I know we're, he might blow up on this stuff, but... What do we have for... Is a single heat sink 0.5? Let's, um... Strip. Max. Call it a day. Oh, insufficient sea bills. Oh my god, 4 million to do what I'm trying to do here? Why would that... What did I do that costs so much... Okay, okay. Cancel. Mech is inoperable. What if we, how much is it just to repair it? Oh yeah, my god. Okay, because it's, it's all the armor. Well, you're just going to sit there, and we're going to go out and we're going to have a mission. And then we will repair this god. Or, or we'll sell him. I don't know. What's he selling for? Three million. I mean, truthfully, I don't know that I need a 60-ton mech going around. So uh, we're going to keep... You know what? Let's let's throw him into cold storage. That's what we're going to do. Yeah, that's what I thought. And let's get our boy back into his spot here. Um, we could probably get rid of that javelin, but after investing in him, it's like I kind of dig him that he's there. All right. Well, that said, uh, let's kind <laughs> of regroup here a little bit decide if we want to head down for the hazing of the week which isn't bad but we're all the way up here maybe we head into steiner we do a couple other things we see what who knows what's going to happen but uh we'll figure it all out and we'll continue on in the next episode